Hi, my name is Adam Shaywitz. I'm a physician scientist by training who's been working in drug development in biotechnology industry for over a decade. Uh, most of that in rare disease drug development. I came to know San Filippo syndrome and Karen Glenn through work I was doing at a prior company developing uh, a potential therapy for San Filippo syndrome. Um, at the time, I was the father of um, a, a pretty young boy, and I was incredibly struck and moved by how devastating this disease is and what a toll the disease takes on, on caregivers and the children. I was also struck by the passion and action-oriented perspective that Kara and Glenn brought to their work with the disease. They really struck me as people who understood the disease, um, were impacted by it in a very intimate way, but also really wanted to, to really move forward and partner with whoever could help move potential therapies forward. And I was uh, really, really honored and pleased that they asked me to serve on their board. I am even more struck by how much effort, passion, and time they bring to developing treatments for this, bringing potential treatments forward, thinking about the community, thinking about the science, thinking about the kids. My hope for San Filippo syndrome, as I see a number of different therapeutic options that are really coming forward over the next few years, is that we're gonna be able to have options that we can offer these kids and, and uh, their families um, across the whole range of the disease, older children, younger children, more impaired children, less impaired children. And hopefully we might even be able to have a therapy that can can arrest the course of the disease or perhaps even um, improve the course of the disease. So that's, that's my hope and my aspiration and I can't think of better people to be pushing those hopes and aspirations forward than Glenn and Cara and Cure San Filippo Foundation. Thank you. When we first got Jacob's diagnosis, we immediately started researching and we discovered the Cure San Filippo Foundation and we instantly connected with Glenn and Cara and the other families that are part of the foundation. Um, we have felt you know, like we've really just become part of a whole new family and the support we receive, you know, questions that we have and just the resources that as a foundation they provide for us are really uh, incredible. They're also chasing down leads for potential cures and uh, that's what we really want to be fundraising for. And, and research that isn't possible without those without the fundraising without the money without fundraising there are no opportunities and we can't do that on our own so that is really why we partner with the foundation hello i'm jennifer kelly uh, oliver kelly is my son and he has um, san filippo type b um, and just the, the foundation has just been such a wonderful source of support for us yeah that we'll do some group calls and get updates a lot of um a lot of what's going on um in your research is um i'm not i don't have a medical background and so their their abilities to kind of to help walk us through some of that keep us updated um you know always be available for questions that, that's been such a source of strength continued hope and um i'm just you know so amazed at what the organization does every day i i truly feel like they do so much heavy lifting to be able to say you know these are this is what we're working on this is how you can help this is what you need to know it gives us clarity and gives us direction a way to focus you know from from the advocacy, from the fundraising, from um, and also from the care perspective. Hello, we are the Burroughs family. I am Craig. And I'm Sarah. And these are our daughters, Hannah and Addison. And this is Carson. Carson is 10 years old and suffers from San Filippo type A syndrome. Our family chose to be a volunteer family for the Cure San Filippo Foundation because they were there for us from the very beginning. We received Carson's diagnosis about four and a half years ago, and we had no one to turn to for support. Uh, the wonderful people at the Cure San Filippo Foundation spent a lot of time explaining to us what to expect as far as symptoms and progression of the disease, 
and they help us start our journey um, applying for clinical trials and eventually getting accepted into a clinical trial. It's important to keep fighting for additional treatment programs and ultimately a cure because each kid with San Filippo deserves this chance, uh, a chance at a normal life. Hi, we're the Byers family from Spring, Texas. Our son Will is 10 years old and has San Filippo type B and this is his sister Samantha. And we support the Cure San Filippo Foundation because we believe that they strike a great balance between scientific research, advocacy for patients, and family support. Hi, we are Josephine and Carrie Shamali. We live in Connecticut with our children, Alexander and Ellie. Ellie was diagnosed with San Filippo type B in 2017 at only two years old. After we learned Ellie's diagnosis, we reached out to the foundation and what we found out was that there was a lot of hard work being done to spread awareness, to support research, and to fund clinical trials. What we found out to be really unique is that the families that have children with San Filippo are really the ones that are pu pushing research forward. We decided at that point that we wanted to help too, and we have been a partner family ever since. We're banded together with the Cure San Filippo Foundation, which is a collection of families that have San Filippo children. And what we do is we try to raise awareness and fundraise to, to pay for clinical trials and research. We hope through Cure San Filippo Foundation to be able to help those families, not only through outreach as they uh, get the diagnosis early on, but through funding trials where children can hopefully obtain treatment that can extend and, and we hope ultimately save their lives. That's the goal of the foundation and something that I'm proud to be part of. My name's James and this is my wife, Katie. Hi, I'm Arden. This is my sister, Bell. Bell is five years old with MPS 3A, also known as San Filippo Syndrome. We support the Cure San Filippo Foundation because we desperately need a cure for Bell. The money that they raise goes to research and development for more clinical trials. That's why we need your help to find a cure.